Hey, Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight we'll see the Miami Heat playing against the Orlando Magic. Checking out the Magic, they've been on a tremendous run. And we're deep enough into the season now to know that it's no mirage. These guys definitely for real. Well, Freak was recently selected to be a part of All-Star Weekend. Very big honor for him, and I'm sure uh, there will be a lot expected of him. You guys have both been involved with All-Star Weekend. Uh, what's it like? What's going through their heads right now? Well, the most important thing you have to do is just enjoy the weekend. There's going to be a lot of superstars there. There's going to be a lot of things going on. You just have to go, perform, let them know who you are. The fans voted you in. Got to give them a great show. Yeah, but you, if I think, uh, guys, if you're there, you can't get caught up with all of the hype and everything and all the star watching. I think you have to, you're there to be the star, not to see the stars. So you have to go in there and perform and let people remember you. Shaq always did that, and he did that great. I, you know I, why? Why? I saw Halle Berry looking at me one uh, time. <laughs> you know what I think it was really admirable, whether you were going to be in the dunk contest, Kenny, or the three-point, or you're playing in the game, Shaq, that that you guys got to town and you just and you just stayed in the room. I thought that was very impressive. I sure that did. You, yeah, that's yeah. all you did. You just walked to it the hotel, checked in, and said, I'll see you, see you Saturday but night I or see you Sunday. But I considered the city the room. Shaquille stayed in the room, but Shaq was partying like a <laughs> bird. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 here with another NBA 2K My Career Game playing today. We are here to lay rest to the competition known as NBA Live. Yes, that is right, ladies and gentlemen. NBA Live is no more. Sadly, they've gone out of business. And yeah. I mean, damn. I mean, they ain't really go out of business. I'm just playing, but... Damn. Damn, EA. I know I should be speaking about this on the NBA Live video, but shit. The NBA Live video that's supposed to be coming out today has to do with the gameplay. And I can't really talk about what I want to talk about on NBA Live because it's too much bullshit I got to deal with over there. And shit that EA just needs to fucking fix. But... I thought, why not talk about it? Why not talk about it on here? Because, you know, only thing I, I've, I've stated everything I needed to state on NBA on Monday when I dropped that Hall of Fame 
rant video whatever I said everything I needed to say about 2k so I don't need to say anything more still fuckery still bullshit you know what I'm saying it's still the same old game it feels like the same old game but it's it's very different it's very different uh, but anyways though um, NBA to NBA live has only sold 10,000 copies that is less than what they sold last year and I think the year before <laughs> so let me let me pull up uh, NBA lives NBA live uh, NBA live uh, sales let me pull up I mean, let me let me pull this up, man. Let me let me just. I mean, this game just fucking fell flat. I don't even know what you want me to say. Like, listen, you trolled it. Listen. Let's go back to NBA Live 14 real quick. Let's let's start off with the PlayStation. Let's start off with the PlayStation 4, Xbox One era. I'm trying to find how much is sold. I don't see it. I see a lot of ratings for it, but I don't see how much units it pushed. If I can pull it up, I can't really pull it up. The franchise passes to Vucevic, and that one's good. He came off that screen, and he just didn't get over the top. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and that's the case. So let me let me pull this shit up. This is hilarious right now. I'm not hating on NBA Live or anything like that. I'm just this shit just needs to be addressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me pull up. It's total sales right now. Okay, let's go to VG Charts. VG Charts is a very resourceful place to go to. Um, see here, Live 14. Let's see how many units they sold. Uh, and the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. 10 straight points off assist, that's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Here's the franchise. Turns in an outstanding game Let's see here. Harris misses. NBA Live pushed about... NBA Live 14 pushed about 65,000 units 65,000 units wow that is okay that's it's not good but it's better than 10,000 so let's look at NBA Live, NBA Live 15 uh, let's look at NBA Live 15 and, and their um, let's look at NBA Live 15. Let's see how they did the charts. Um, let's see here. NBA Live 15 did about. Seraphin's got eight points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their NBA Live 15 did about a hundred did about a hundred thousand. 
So that's pretty good. NBA Live 15 did a pretty good job last year. Pushed about 100,000. Barely pushed in 100,000, but it was 100,000 nonetheless. And we get to this and... We get to this and... Wow. That's crazy, yo. That is crazy. 10,000 units sold. Ten thousand units. What could have happened? To make this go the way it did. Because even I thought this was gonna do I thought this was gonna be received very well considering how they marketed their game. And let's just look at the factors here that could have played into this. There was lack of YouTube support, lack of YouTube support from YouTubers, um, major major guys like Chris Move and other people like uh, other people of his of his status, so to say, people who have as much um, people who have as much you know. What I want to say, they have as much, you know, power and as much popularity as he has in 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 the sports uh, gaming genre, especially when it comes to the basketball gaming genre. You know, what 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 type of impact do they have? And Chris Moore probably has probably the biggest impact on all of sports gaming at this point in time. Um, then there's. There, then there's also the possibility of the game coming out at the same time as NBA 2K. Maybe, maybe it, maybe putting the game out the same day as NBA 2K was probably a bad idea. Maybe that was the case. Maybe the lack of, you know, maybe just the fact that you put the game out on the same day and you're making people choose between 2K and NBA Live nine times out of ten, everybody's gonna choose 2K. So I, I. I there's that um, fucking wow, and I did like the competitiveness, but I I, I did see I did kind of see you know this might have hurt their sales, but I didn't think it was going to do that bad. I didn't think it was going to do as bad as it did. I think people was just going to give it some time. I thought with 2K fucking up just straight out the gate, you know, with the servers and the fact that you couldn't even play Pro Am and shit like that. I thought people were gonna buy NBA Live and just be like, fuck it, I'll just play NBA Live until they fix their shit. And you know seven second difference shot and game clock. I just thought it was gonna be that way, but nah. NBA Live took an L. 10,000 units though and just almost about a month now so it's almost been about a month and you only sold 10,000 units like I've seen I, I I can't say NBA Live is good I'm not gonna say it's bad I'm damn sure not gonna say it's good but I thought it would be received well by the public. I thought the public would have a, a, a bigger, would have a better opinion of this game considering the fact that how much units both game, the game, two games before this one sold. And it, and it really seems like people, I, I don't know if it was 2K, I don't, I don't think they're, it's not the marketing schemes that they did. The marketing schemes was fun, was fantastic. I love the way they started out the gate. I told y'all EA was on the come up. They were finna come. They were finna come through, kicking down the motherfucking door. They came in, kicking down the motherfucking door, saying "fuck 2K." We we in this bitch now. Fuck with us because as because you gotta think about. It, they had a really good year last year, and they put all this effort and energy into in, into this game and. I mean, well, they put some effort and energy into their game, but at the same time, we we all know, you know, I, I don't I don't fuck with, you know, yeah, 
but um <laughs> yeah so the effort and energy that they put into their game was kind of you, you know just adding in shit like pro-am and face scanning and an app to and a companion app for the game you would think that this would this would this would be them saying we're we're serious now we're we're serious now we we say it's business we out here we out here you know what i'm saying like we we, we coming and it's like damn nobody and it's like i can't blame the marketing the marketing was good the fact that the shit was on every time you watched a bas a baseball game or a football game or if you was just watching NBA TV, WNBA stuff like that, like you would always see these. You you still see the NBA Live commercial. Like 2K commercials don't even like 2K don't even like have no commercials on TV that I see. When I go on ESPN, I see an NBA Live. I see NBA Live commercials more than anything. You know what I'm saying? And this is fucked up because you got Russell Westbrook on the cover too, which, which I thought was really gonna sell it right there because you have Russell Westbrook on the cover. So the question remains: what fuck? What what went wrong? And like I said, it's 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 between the release, the 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 choosing of the release date. It's between the choosing of the release date or the lack of. Or probably the lack of YouTubers, uh, the lack of YouTubers and the lack of a community that to get behind it. Maybe that's what it was. It's, it's, it had to be the lack of YouTubers having a, a YouTuber community. Like 2K has a fucking community. It has YouTubers, big name YouTubers. NBA Live has about four or five, four or five NBA Live YouTubers max versus the. 10,000 versus like the 10,000 2k youtubers out there like I mean come on man it's like it's, it's you know that 2k's 2k the 2k uh area is like fucking fucking polluted with like just youtubers and shit like it, there's a lot of people that's out there that do shit for this game but the units that was pushed and sold it was Wow. I mean, I mean, my goodness, man, this is crazy. I, I, if I had to choose, if if you want my personal opinion, I blame. If you want my personal opinion, I personally blame um I blame the release date more than I blame anything else. I think the release date was the uh was the iffy part about all this because this had to do with um this had to do more with like you putting a game out the same day as the other game and you're trying to get people to choose between you know you're trying to get people to choose between you know one versus the other and you know the other one is going to win even I knew the other one was going to win even though I was pushing for NBA Live to get a little bit you know love I just wanted NBA Live to get a little love because I felt like the competition was needed out here as long as we have competition between the two, it's gonna it's gonna do good. I, I thought that as long as we have competition between the two of them, it's gonna be a good it's 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 gonna be good for the genre. But it, apparently, I don't think people understand. Like, either I, I'm not gonna say that I don't think people understand. I'm just gonna say that I don't think nobody realizes what what's gonna happen now because. This, there's a strong possibility that NBA Live is going to go out of fucking business now after this shit. After this shit, it's, it's a good chance that NBA Live is going out of fucking business, yo. For real. It's, there's no... There's no... Uh, there's 
there's no fucking way uh this shit is this shit you know it's not selling like how madden selling Mad madden selling about damn near a million almost every fucking every fucking time it comes out then we got then you got um fifa fifa's almost selling like fifa's always the top tier fifa has always been the top tier sports a uh, sports franchise for the past couple of years now it's been the top tier sports franchise because it's it's soccer it's like it's fucking it's, it's fifa man like come on it's fucking soccer it's fifa it's really good it's a really good game by the way too i've been considering playing it on this channel um i just gotta get my funds right because like i said 2k and ea both broke me so there's that i mean making people choose between one console versus another you're putting you're putting a lot of pre you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself you know what I'm saying because you had because I feel I feel like this is what happened I feel like EA had all the confidence in the world that they could outdo uh, that they could outdo 2k I think they had all the confidence in the world that with 2k fucking up the way it did people were gonna be this this was a bit perfect time for them to and the marketing strategies for for phenomenal the way they came out the gate swinging throwing shots at them saying we gonna do this better than they do it and make it more logical and make more sense about it and the fact that it didn't get perceived as well it, it's pro it, it's a lot more to it and there's a lot more that I'm gonna probably have to talk about in the NBA live video. So the NBA live video tomorrow, I think I'm going to continue um, in the NBA live video on Sunday. I think I'm going to continue this. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be about it, y'all, you know, man. The game is over. We barely walk away with that win. Playing on Superstar difficulty for right now. We are very close to All-Star break. Hopefully, we can get out get out of this shit. Hopefully, we can get out these next couple of games uh, alive before All-Star break. And we can finish off the first half of the season strong. But other than that, I'm... This shit is just fucking depressing, yo. I feel like we're not gonna. There's never. We're not gonna have any fucking competition. Without competition, the other one is going to fucking just do whatever the fuck they want and not pay any attention to what we want and need in our game. I love the, the fact that 2K had to actually work this year and to make a good game says a lot about what the impact that NBA Live has, but. Without it, this game gonna go to shit. So that's just my personal opinion. But tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. I'll get back to y'all. Until then, peace out.